So guys, I'm never gonna see these movies the same way I used to. <laughs> now that I know all the work that it's behind and remind me again how many shots out of the movie had visual effects. Yeah, there is um, 2,623 shots. So the, there is, and there's basically only 80 shots that we didn't actually put effects on in the film. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Those are a lot of shots. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. And, and not short shots, too, like performance shots. You know, there's shots on Thanos where you just linger and linger and linger. It's really great. For you guys, what would you say was the most challenging part of, of the movie? Well, I mean, Thanos is the one, the problem we had to solve to begin with, because the, the entire movie rode on his character. You know, the, if Thanos worked, the movie worked. If Thanos didn't work, the movie wouldn't work at all. And, and you know, based on the great work that everybody did on Thanos, you know, it really just kind of opened up the character. Yeah, I think we had, um, for just Thanos, has is such a major role, like at least 40 minutes of screen time, I, I would say. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Of the film. Yeah, the internet figured it out for us. Oh, I think. Did they? Yeah, they, they put all the, the minutes in for all the characters, and Thanos actually had more minutes than like everybody else. Did you guys came up with the design of Thanos? Because, you know, you show us before how the process of doing it was it, but, but did you guys have more input, or that was something that Marvel kind of was like, it has to look exactly like this? Well, it's something that it developed over time, right? So we've, we've seen him in the in Guardians of the Galaxy and Avengers and Avengers Age of Ultron. And it was something, you know, the character really evolved and it was something that, you know, you started hearing Josh Brolin um, during like Guardians of the Galaxy and Age of Ultron, but, you know, it didn't really look like him yet. And one of the important things kind of sell the character and, and make it, you know, I think, better for visual effects is it actually started to look more like, like Thanos. So it's, you know, Marvel's a very, open place I think for comment and I think it's you know like the Russo brothers as well it's like the best idea wins so we, we started out with a design that was pretty close to what we wanted and then Digital Domain kind of took it beyond that. We were able to it. integrate more of Josh into it especially around the eyes we wanted those to be as close to Brolin as possible. And you succeeded right away yeah. this is watching the movies like this is this is really Josh <laughs> with a big jaw. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How was working with Josh and because I'm, I'm sure for him wasn't easy to perform with all this, you know, gear, but still he got into character very well. Uh, <laughs> respect. Like, yeah. I, I, for anyone who's sort of acting in this, you know, crazy motion capture outfit and sometimes these really silly looking, you know, augmentations to their character, to be able to put that out of their head and just be sort of take it inside their head and just be that character mm -hmm. is really impressive. Yeah, and, and you know, at its core, it's what Josh was willing to do and what Josh could bring through that performance. I mean, he, of, of everything else that we did, Josh was the one that made Thanos Thanos. Yeah, and the snapping the finger. 